I am laughing at seeing all of this pool stuff, all the bounce house stuff out here because it is literally snowing outside right now. I just walked in, my shoes are still wet. It's freezing here, but I love seeing all the spring and summer stuff come out. These bunch of balloons, if you guys like to do water balloons, I'm sure you've heard of these, but they're easy. You just hook this bottom part onto your hose and they fill up and tie themselves. So much better if you want to do water balloons, but $22.98 for those and you get 465 of them. They also have beach towels here for just under $10. Lots of different colors. I love to have matching sets. So if you want to do a matching set at like a cheaper price, this would be a great place to come and grab like four of them. But then they have this little 10 foot long pool here. Don't they just look like they're enjoying that warm weather? Can I be them right now? And then this is what looks so cool to me. They have this bounce house that apparently like, I'm assuming it hooks up to water or something like that. Cause it says H2O go, but I'm not seeing water anywhere on these pictures. I'm assuming it's got like a sprinkler in there or something somewhere. Just under $200 for that one. Spring is in full swing. They have these orchids here for just under $14. Look how gorgeous they are. I love this purple one back here. And I think it's so fun. They have these green ones too. Have they just not changed over yet? Or is that like a different breed of them? <laughs> anyway, they're gorgeous. It says just add three ice cubes once a week. That's all you have to do to take care of these. It would look gorgeous on like a beautiful kitchen countertop, like an island or something like that. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we are in Sam's Club doing a Sam's Club haul today. I have a few things on the list that I need to get, but I really wanted to check out what they had new for spring. And last time that I was here, I ran out of time and I couldn't look at the clothing. I really want to show you guys the clothing because they have some really great clothing options. But I'm sitting here looking at their like magazine section. They've got a great book section as well. And they actually have some really good stuff. I didn't know that they have like faith-based stuff here, but this is like an everyday faith magazine. Anyway, I think it's cool. If you guys like these kinds of videos though, give me a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you. Let's go see what we can find. I always tell myself I'm going to get into a good book and then, you know, I'm a mom. So I have like almost zero minutes to myself, but this just looks dreamy. Summer at the Cape. Have any of you guys read this? Is it good? Anyone know anything about that? The mother and daughters of the Bible speak. That would be a great one, I think. Just under $17 for that one. They've got quite a few different books here. Dolly Parton, I didn't know she wrote books. And James Patterson, Run, Rose, Run. Lots of new stuff over here. This one looks cute. Enough already. Where the Crawdads Sing, has any of you guys read that? I have, and it's very, very good. Very captivating. Jesus Listens, that's like the sequel to Jesus Calling, right? I'm trying to remember the one that I have. One Italian Summer, can I go to Italy for a summer? Have any of you guys been to Italy? Did you like it? How was it? Do I need to add it to my list of places to hit up <laughs> on my bucket list? The Summer Getaway, all of these summer books are just, I'm like, yes, you're drawing me in. It was Easter yesterday and one of my sister-in-laws got all the kids books and she got Isla a book that looks just like this. It's not in here, but it's a book that is literally the same brand and she loves it. So Isla is 10 months old. This would be perfect if you have a baby in that same stage. It's really soft and squishy. Never touch a tiger. Hers is never touch a panda. Anyway, very cute. Just under $10 for that set. I know you guys have seen the commercials for ABC Mouse. Well, they have their little workbooks here. They have a four-in-one preschool one and then a kindergarten one as well. They're both under $12. Let's see what they look like a bunch of tracing and stuff like that. No colors in this one, but the Dr. Seuss workbook that's right below it and is actually $3 cheaper does have colors. Just in case you're looking for that kind of stuff. The Dr. Seuss one comes in other grades too. So there's preschool, grade one, grade two. I'm assuming they have a kindergarten one hidden in here somewhere too. I love that they have the actual Easter story here about Jesus. Love to see that just under $9 for that book. And then my first read and learn Bible. We have one just like this. Otherwise this looks like a great one. Oh, this actually looks like a really nice one too. Ours is a lot larger, but this one would be a great first time Bible under seven bucks, short and sweet. And just as I was talking about the Bible that we have, it's this one. We just have an older version because it came from, I mean, it's been passed down for generations, the one that we have, but it's literally the same pictures and everything. These are just updated. We love this one. We've been reading through like several chapters a night and it actually holds Logan's attention, which I love, under 12 bucks. And now we've come to the section that I am going to just need to walk away from because I'm gonna sit here and look through all of these cookbooks. I 
I don't know what to tell you guys. I love cookbooks and I love cooking for my family. It's like my love language. So this kind of stuff speaks to my soul, specifically this shack one. Cookbooks are just such like a source of inspiration for me. Oh, they even have the half-baked harvest one here. She's great too. If you guys don't follow her on Instagram yet, she has a lot of awesome fun meals. Oh, and hello, I love this, the Pioneer Woman's favorite recipes. So it comes with a hundred of her classic recipes, but then it also comes with a hundred blank recipe cards and dividers. A little recipe tin. My mom had one of these. I need to make one for me and my kids too. Um, just under 13 bucks for that. But I think I'd want something maybe a little bigger. I don't know. I feel like you'd run out of space really quick. Spicy pretzel chicken fingers with hot honey. She actually has this recipe on her Instagram as well. This is the half baked harvest book. Lemon Harissa chicken. She lives in Breckenridge by the way, which is not too far from where I come from, but spicy tomato basil zucchini balsamic stuffed mushrooms she's got a lot of great stuff sweet and spicy ginger soy noodles by the way even though because we have like a ton of restrictions on what we can't eat i just make everything gluten and dairy free i will follow recipes just like this but just instead of soy sauce i'll put coconut aminos something like that gets very easy to adjust your lifestyle and still eat the things you want to eat without bothering your stomach oh my goodness jesus calling for moms i need to look through this is this my next devotional? I know devotionals don't take the place of Bible reading, but I do really, really love reading through devotionals. And I feel like it makes the um, verses make a lot more sense to me. Whereas when I go through and read the Bible, I have a hard time retaining it. I need to work on that, but this one looks awesome. Did anybody else's mom use the farmer's almanac? <laughs> Anytime I see this, I think of my mom telling me about the time she used the farmer's almanac to wean my brother, who is like 20 years older than I am, off of breastfeeding. And she said it worked. I don't know. I, I know nothing about that stuff, but I thought that was very interesting. They have so many good magazines here, and I am here sans kids, so I'm almost just like standing here looking through all these. This is exactly what I was telling you about. I was so sad that I had to miss the clothing section last time because if you can see, these are all Steve Madden clothing right here. $20 for a dress. This top, same print, but also still Steve, Ma Steve Madden is on clearance for $13. We've got different prints. They have these little suede jackets here that are so cute with the like silver detailing. They've got a nice blue color. I love the olive too. And these ones are only $21. I mean, seriously, you guys, look at these little studded sandals that they have here. These ones are $30. They have um, the slides that I'll show you in a second for 25. These ones are the Hermes dupes. I mean, come on, nobody has to know that you got it at Sam's Club if that's like the type of thing you're worried about. I'm someone who's like, I got this for a great deal. But these are so in style right now, you guys, for 30 bucks. Who cares where you got them? I think that is so awesome. These studded ones are actually calling my name. I wish I had painted my toenails before this. I almost did for Easter and now look at me. I really should have. These are so cute, so flattering on your foot. I am usually a size eight and a half or nine. These are a size eight. I think they're about perfect. I'll try on the size nine. I don't know. They look, they look about right. These ones are a size eight as well. I think I would need to go up a size in these ones. I think I'd need to go to a nine. Cute as well if you're looking for the Hermes dupe though. All of these suits are Hurley suits, you guys, for under $20. They have these three one-piece suits up top. They also have this one peeking out right behind here as well. These are under $20. Love the black ribbed. I feel like that's understated. Love this olive green though. I think that's super cute. This is what it looks like on the model right there. But then they also have rash guards, $15. Oh my gosh. Would look perfect with just like a black bikini bottom. I wish they had an even more expansive size selection in these kids Hurley board shorts because I would definitely buy some for Logan. We are in need of sizing up, but they're only 10, okay, $11 a piece. They also have these one pieces for girls right here. They've got this tankini set. This is the cutest little swim top right here. Love this one as well. Those guys are $11. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is so great. 
Um, okay, who needs a Lululemon dupe? This looks almost identical with the lines, the stitching going up like this. This is just the Members Mark brand. These jackets are literally $17, and you can look like you walked out of Lululemon with an over $100 jacket. These are actually a lot softer too. The reason I went against Lululemon, like decided against it when I originally looked at them is because they were so stiff and not soft. This is actually a very soft material. So it comes in this black leopard. This is kind of like a blue tie-dye print. And then this one is a black camo. Ooh, tempting, tempting. I forgot to show you what it looks like on the model. It looks exactly like Lululemon, but you can also get a matching set. So they have a two tank pack. It comes with black and like a black leopard or whatever, you know, one that you choose. Those guys are $7.53 gotta be joking me for two tank tops that's amazing and then they have the high-rise leggings so these ones match as well they even have matching pullover sets so you buy them individually the top is just under 12 bottoms are just under 14 that's a great price and they call them the soft pant and the soft um, pullover they are so soft I would almost grow go for this heather gray color they've got it in that the navy blue um, gray camo and then this like it's coming off a lot lighter on camera, but it's like a little bit of a darker rusty brown. If tie-dye sets are still in style, they do have like the matching sweatshirts and shorts here as well too. I thought that was super cute. The shorts are $13. The tie-dye sweatshirt is 15. I don't know why I've never looked at Sam's Club for clothes, but these are blowing my mind. I love them. So cool. They have these cute little gauzy shorts for summer too. I feel like those just look so easy breezy and then they come they have matching tops as well they don't come with it but you can grab a matching top um i love 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 this hot pink color that color this summer is calling my name they even have gap t-shirt dresses here super cute easy it's just a straight silhouette with a relaxed fit it hits right above the knee i love that so it's not too super short this little tie-dye green is a really cute color this is kind of like a rosy pink it's not super hot pink that one is 17 dollars. you've got to be getting with these prices you can go to the thrift store and find something for just as much random but we needed some trash bags we somehow had a full bag or box of trash bags never opened them and now we cannot find them we got them from costco anyway so we need more 19 dollars have you guys ever done that before please tell me we used to not do this in our older house because we didn't have as much room for anywhere to go but now that there's a lot of us living in one place things tend to get a little bit like misplaced a lot more often these are so cool you guys know i want to get into gardening but they have these blueberry plants blackberry plants you can get just two berry plants which is a what is it it's a blueberry and a blackberry baby cakes. Anyways, I don't know enough about berries to buy these, but $17 and you can just plant these in your like little planters outside, obviously. But they have a ton of other ones too. They have these box perennials right here, grow your own blueberries, goji berries, a pecan tree right down there. Crazy amount of selection in here. Very random, but I saw these. They have top loader Samsung washers for $5.99 and then the front load dryer for $5.99. I don't know if that's a good deal. I feel like I've seen them for a lot more than that, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, they have a big stack of them here. Are any of you guys in the market for like appliances right now? We definitely are. And it took forever for me to find a matching set of three, like a dishwasher, a fridge, and um, a stove. Took forever to find the matching ones of those. Everything is so backed up. I love these cute linen shorts from Gap here as well. These guys are $15. Comes in this like light, it's almost like a pink lilac kind of color. This like coastal stripe and then olive green and navy blue. These are cute too, especially since like the army pants type of thing is coming back with these large pockets. These are just a tensile short from Gap. Um, these are like a light kind of coral in person. And then they have this green branch if you will. And then um, navy blue and like a dark gray, almost black. They already have 4th of July stuff out. Look how cute this little top is. It says American Mama. That one's cute. These guys are all under $10, just under $10. This one says, Oh My Stars. This one is USA. And this one says, Shake Your Sparkler. Super cute, especially if you're wanting something cheap, but you know, still goes with the season. At first glance, these look like nothing and they're not that soft. They're kind of scratchy. They're that like typical crew, net, crew neck sweatshirt, but look at the arms on them. 
They have balloon sleeves. I love that. So these ones are $12. 12 stinking dollars. Grabbing a bag of baking soda. Who remembers me struggling with this last time trying to do it one hand? I'm gonna struggle again. 15 pounds here for $8.92. We just use this as our laundry detergent. I get questions on this all the time. Whenever I mention it on Instagram, people are confused if I use this in addition to laundry detergent or in addition to something else. No, I just use a scoop of baking soda as our laundry detergent, that's it. You use it the same way that you would like powdered Tide, but it's a lot cheaper, a lot easier on your skin, right? You can add a couple of drops of essential oils if you'd like to. However, I feel like it takes so many drops of essential oils to make your clothes smell that way, which is the point of adding essential oils. That is just wasteful to me, so I don't add them, but you can totally add essential oils if you want to. So if you're looking for a more natural way to do this or cheaper, because this is certainly cheaper, we've really liked it. This is probably our 17th bag. I can't believe what I just found here. Sam's Club is kind of known for being like the less allergy friendly of Sam's Club and Costco. Costco has a lot more allergy friendly stuff, but they do have these Bake Believe dark chocolate chocolate chips. So if you are milk free, uh, sometimes even gluten free, chocolate chips can be hard to find and expensive. So these ones are $10.98 for a bag. It's a pretty big bag of them. They are sweetened with stevia, but they are free of milk, all kinds of allergens. Um, they're vegan. Those are the only ingredients on the back there. I prefer the Enjoy Life ones, but if you can't get your hands on those, that would be a great alternative. I feel like I never hear anybody talking about going keto anymore, but I still see a lot of keto friendly food. So these, this one is a keto pad thai. Palm noodles are what is in there. Shredded veggies, real scrambled eggs, and pad thai sauce with coconut aminos. So it looks like it would probably be fairly allergy friendly as well. This one is $12.48 and you get three of the nine ounce bowls in there. Looks like they're microwavable too. I am down to one bag of organic frozen blueberries, but I've, I don't think I've ever seen organic frozen blueberries here. I know it sounds crazy, but when I'm eating them in my berry freeze, I can taste the difference between organic and non-organic. So I'm gonna grab a bag. We're gonna see which one is really better. So I'll have the acai bowls, which we love. They're cheaper at Costco, but if you can't get to Costco, $10 for four of them from Tattooed Chef, and they come with all the fruit and granola that you need to put on there. I don't know how many times I've showed you guys these, but these are the Chloe's Lime Pops and Dark Chocolate Coconut Pops. Um, I'm gonna try them because it says limited time only now, which means they're going away. It's $7.91 for 16 of them. They're pretty, honestly, pretty good ingredients. You can see them on the side here. They're not great, but not terrible for like a popsicle. So you know what, to heck with it. We are going to try these because it's gonna be warm enough out soon, right? I mean, I'm not crazy for buying these while it's snowing, right? I'm also going to grab two things of these Sweet Globe green grapes. If you can find the Sweet Globe ones, they are so good. We will go through all these in probably a week if I grab two of them. If I grab one, it'll be like two or three days. I'm also grabbing these massive strawberries. You guys, they're so big that the rest of the packages over there are not able to stay closed because these are just so massive in there. And then two things of blueberries as well. I talk a lot about the importance of organic and I do think organic is very important, especially when it comes to berries and stuff, but also you have to take what's available to you. We now live in a town that it really is not readily available to us anymore, except pretty much when we go to Costco. So anyway, just take what you can get, wash them well, but I love fruit. We're gonna come over here though. We're gonna grab some bananas. I love to always have bananas on hand, especially spotty ones like this, so that they can start going bad a little bit, getting riper, and then I can use them in baked goods, put them in smoothie bowls, things of that sort, and always have some of them on hand. Have you guys ever seen such tiny mangoes and so many mangoes come in a box? For $10, you get eight pounds of these little tiny, they're called honey mangoes. I'm almost curious to try them. I think we will. I'm gonna try and see which of these have a good amount of good and ones that are not quite ready yet. They are now carrying the Jack Special Salsa here. I have not seen this one here, only at Costco. Um, but it's got pretty great ingredients in there. I think we have salsa on hand, otherwise I'd pick this up. But this one is the mild one, 548 for that guy. This is something very new. These are plant-based baby bells. I've never seen these before, 928. How weird, cheese alternative. Huh, if anybody tries these, will you let us know down in the comments how they are? These are screaming my name though. Hatch chili and cheddar breakfast links. Oh, so good. Oh, these ones are on sale too, $7.84. It's $2 off. 
Um, hello, I am loving that they have our Grillo's pickles here. We actually are running out. They have the dill chips here. They've never had them before, $6.99. I wonder if they're coming around just for like summertime. But this was also interesting to me, this Cleveland kraut right here. So if you're looking for some fermented foods, that's like what sourdough is, but sauerkraut is also fermented. Great for your gut, gluten-free and vegan. I just kind of like the bag. I think it's kind of fun. Um, $6.98, let's see, where's our ingredients? Uh, yep, just exactly what you want. Green cabbage, salt, and caraway. These are interesting. These are called Tin Star Barbacoa Barbecue Potato Chips anyway. They definitely have cleaner ingredients. Uh, Siete is probably the cleanest one I've seen, but this is probably a close second. They are only $4.98 a bag here. I have never seen these That's It bars here. Organic mini probiotic bars. So these ones have probiotics added. I think I'm gonna grab some for our little snack bin because you don't even have to refrigerate them, which is fabulous. It comes with six mangoes, six fig, and six banana. Isla, who is 10 months, loves these. They're soft enough for her, at least the regular ones are. I'm assuming the probiotic ones are the same deal. And then Logan loves them as well. So I'm going through them so fast, faster than I can keep up, but you get 18 for 16.84. I have never seen Califia almond milk creamer here before, but they have it in French vanilla. I was wondering why almond milk was so expensive. <laughs> it's because it's creamer. $6.98 for this big guy. It's a six quart. Oh. LOL, it's a six count. Okay, it's 48 fluid ounces. <laughs> Speaking of those Tin Star um, potato chips, now they have like a box here. So you can get 30 bags. You can get the Smoke Shack, Barbacoa, or Santa Maria. So they're all barbecue. That's kind of fun. Um, for $15.68. I happen to catch some of these still in stock. They're going away, but the kids love these, both of them. So I'm gonna grab some of these organic coconut crispy rollers. They do contain egg. I've told you guys before, we're trying to add egg back into our diet. So these have done seemingly well for us and actually adding back in egg has seemingly done well. So we're gonna grab some of these. These are great, um, easy snacks to hand to them. So, and kind of like a fun treat too. You guys, I could literally stand here all day and pick up snacks so I need to stop and I'm gonna show you guys what I have for my final cart I tried to display it nicely for you guys <laughs> but you know me I usually just chuck things in the cart and unless Derek's there it's not really being um, stacked up nicely so we're gonna grab these Chloe's lime pops and dark chocolate dipped coconut pops right here we have some hot Cheetos for Derek some baking soda for our laundry, a massive thing of mangoes these are so fun I'm so excited to try those some Grillo's pickles bananas, the organic coconut crispy rollers right here. I grabbed a pineapple. It actually, they seemingly are pretty ripe. You can usually tell by pulling out the most inner leaves and if they come out easily without struggle. See, this one's like kind of in the middle, but we're gonna try it anyway. Um, we grabbed a bag of organic frozen blueberries back there. I am trying these little $30 sandals. Do I need $30 sandals? No, I probably really don't, but you know, they're cute. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. We're at Sam's Club for a reason, right? We grabbed some of the Members Mark trash bags right there. I grabbed two outfits, so I'll let you guys know how they go. This, like, sweatshirt and shorts one. This one is just a black tie-dye. Comes with a matching shirt. I love matching sets because it's so easy to get dressed. This one I thought was so cute for summer, and I am someone who loves wearing hot pink, hot colored anything. Loved these little gauzy shorts. They look like that on the model. I like that these shorts are a little bit longer, but I'm not sure if they'll be too long for my 5'4 frame, so we'll see. And then this cute little top that matches. It's a gauzy top, and it has like, oh my gosh, flutter sleeves on it. So y'all know my love for flutter sleeves. If you follow me over on my Instagram, whenever I do try on hauls, I'm all about the flutter sleeves. Up here, we got some of the most massive strawberries I've ever seen in my life. Two things of blueberries, the That's It organic probiotic bars, which I am still deciding on because when I read that price off, I was like, no way, $16 for these? I've never paid $16 for these in my life. Jesus Calling for Moms, I thought that'd be a great devotional. And then two things of these Sweet Globe grapes that we love. Before I go, I just wanted to show you guys a little try on haul of these outfits. Super cute. I think this would be great in the summer. It runs a little small. So the medium, I feel like the top is fine, but it is cropped. This is where it comes to me. These are my hips. I would ideally like it to be a little longer. You are supposed to roll over your like pant cuff one so that 
these straps, what would you call them? Ties hang out. And then I feel like the shorts are a little tight and I never have problem in pants at all. Like the, my lower half is my smaller half. So the pants definitely run small. Other than that, I think it's a really cute idea with some cute sandals. It would look adorable. This is the all linen set. So the top runs true to size. It is a little bit cropped. The lines don't help, but that'll come off in the wash. You are supposed to front tuck it so that you can see the pants. The pants run really big. I don't know if you can tell, this is a medium and they are massive on me, so I would need to size down. But I think if I size down, this would be a very cute, like matchy matchy outfit with some sandals for the summer. So I probably will go back and return these medium pants for a small. And then in the tie dye one, I'll return the pants for a large. The sizing is crazy, but the prices are really good. I was surprised when I looked on the tags of these ones. It's a brand I've never heard of before. It's called Three Dots. I believe the shirt is like MSRP for, is that even how you say it? That would be for cars, right? Suggested retailer price was like 148. I got this top for like, what was it? 12 to $15, so anyway, a little bit need some smaller shorts, but then it'll be super cute. Everybody.